Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about Matic. So Matic did go up further, but since yesterday actually not too much happened. Uh, it's just sort of establishing establishing itself around the 130 level. Um, got two perspectives here, um, which um, differ quite a bit. We've got one scenario where this is now a wave one. Yeah, we're rallying here in a wave one. Maybe the wave five was an ending diagonal of wave one. Um, and it could come down shortly here in a wave two correction. Um, but for now, as I already said yesterday to you against the, do, 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 which level was it? The last low here around 116, the trend is up. Yeah, we, we still push higher against this um, low. So for now, this can still put another extension in or even break out of the wedge to the upside, even though that would normally be considered quite unlikely that such a wedge pattern breaks to the upside. So it tends to remain in the wedge until it breaks down. So that's sort of how I normally would see it. Of course, there is never a hundred percent guarantee, but for now it's still pushing higher. There is no sign a top is in place. First sign that a top is in place would be um, if we lose the trend line to the downside. Now, trend lines are not hundred um, percent accurate. Yeah, we had a break of a trend line here. I remember that, um, but I mentioned to you that Again, as long as we're holding above 116, we can put another extension in and that further extensions to the upside are preferred because the trend is still ongoing until we break below 116. That view remains, Yeah, we can still push higher. Um, also here yesterday, we still made a slightly higher high and uh, therefore no change here to the scenario. This is independent, um, so it, you know, it doesn't really matter if we have here a bullish perspective, the yellow count, which would eventually cascade higher, or if we have here the bearish view that this is an extended B wave and we had here an A, B, and we're now in a C wave to the upside. That's possible as well, but also there, the trend is up until we break it. Um, so extensions further are possible. We're now obviously in the bearish view here. We're now in, a, in an overshooting B wave. This overshoots quite a bit now, this is possible but it did overshoot quite a bit now. So it's getting less and less likely. What I also need to tell you that if we have an overshooting B wave, we might not come down that much anymore in C because with an overshooting B wave, you can get a so-called running flat where the C wave might make a higher low. And then we're actually not too far away from the bullish count here in a one, two. That's sort of, these are the scenarios I'm now observing. So um, I don't see any clear setup now, unless you really want to chase here, I wouldn't chase at this stage. Um, so any wave two that comes down could obviously be, be traded. Yeah. Um, either going short to trade a wave two or going long in the wave three. That's sort of what I'm observing. And if we see that signal, then, um, that might be a good setup until then it's just, um, here's something to, you know, anybody who is long can just sort of watch the trend line, maybe move up, move up the stop loss and then either, um, sell when we come down or go short. It's up to you. At this stage, however, trend continuation is preferred because the trend isn't broken. And these diagonals, as we've seen, for example, with ADA as well, they can continue and continue and continue, but it's getting more and more interesting. And this will get very interesting in the next few days. It's getting more interesting as the, um, they, they're contracting always more and more. It's like a, like the tension is building up. So it will be quite exciting to see what's going to happen here. If it comes down and it comes down low enough, I will enter here in a wave two to trade the third wave. But that, then there is not much more to add to yesterday. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.